Nuclear power is back in the spotlight, big time. The Energy Department's loan office is gearing up. It plans to pour most of its money into new nuclear plants. The Trump administration is pushing to break ground fast. President Trump signed an executive order in May to accelerate large reactor builds. At a D.C. conference, Energy Secretary Chris Wright said the loan program has significant lending authority. And the biggest slice is going to nuclear, specifically to get those first plants built. Why now? Two words, AI demand. Data centers are exploding. Alphabet, Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, these companies are investing billions. They want to restart old plants. They want to upgrade existing ones. They want to deploy new reactor tech to keep the lights on for AI. Wright says that Surge is likely to pull in billions in private equity from very creditworthy players. And the government could match that up to four to one with low cost debt from the loan office. The Energy Department's loan office could supercharge the first builds. Remember the target? Break ground on 10 large reactors by 2030. Wright's goal? By the time they leave office in three years and three months, dozens of plants under construction. Enter Westinghouse. The administration struck a deal with its owners, Cameco, Brookfield Asset Management. They've lined up $80 billion to build plants across the U.S. Westinghouse's AP-1000 reactor can power more than 750,000 homes. The CEO says they're ready to meet the call with that design, but let's keep it real. Westinghouse has stumbled before. It went bankrupt in 2017 after cost overruns in Georgia and South Carolina. Two AP-1000 reactors at Bogdell came online in 2023 and 2024. Years late and billions over budget, the South Carolina project was canceled. So is this nuclear reboot different? The bet, AI demand, deeper pockets, and cheaper federal loans can de-risk the first wave enough to scale. If it works, the U.S. could see a new fleet rising this decade. If it doesn't, delays and costs will hit harder than ever. How do you feel about a nuclear-fueled AI future? Please like subscribe and express how you feel about this subject in the comment section below thank you for all of your support for my channel